In this video, we're finally gonna put the battle to rest. Are you team in and out or are you team five guys? And I have a special guest with me. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> so you ready? We out. What's going on? It's your boy, Lewis Hoffer Show. You know how we do. And I have a special guest with me, Christian. Remember him? He's back. So Christian, how you been? I've been good. I just got back from traveling, so. Yeah, so Christian just got back from what, Paris? Paris, yep. And he's been craving? Burgers. American burgers. Yep. So we decided to finally put the ballot to rest. Are you team in and out or are you team five guys? I'm not sure, we'll find out. Let's find out. But before we get started, this is a fitness channel, so we have to go over my four rules. The first rule is I follow the 80-20 rule. 80% 80 of my calories come from whole foods, which means lean meats, fruits, and veggies. And 20% of my calories come from foods just like this. My second rule is we don't skip our training, we don't skip our workout, we don't skip our cardio. I personally like to go in the morning, get out of the way, but you can go anytime you like, as long as it fits you and your schedule. And the third rule is we eat our mains calories or below. So when you eat your mains calories, you don't gain weight, you don't lose weight. If you eat above your mains calories, you gain weight. If you eat below it, you lose weight. But what if you don't know your maintenance calories? Well, Christian, lucky for you, I have a free calorie calculator. Just go to bringthestress.com slash tools. I'll leave a link in the description box below. Just type in your info and you'll be Good to go. And the fourth and final rule is we don't drink our calories on this channel. Unless it's vodka. Shut. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. So guys, like I said, because we don't drink our calories on this channel, I have a nice diet, seven up. Zero calories, zero sugar, zero everything. Not sponsored. And Christian has a diet orange sun kiss. Zero sugar, zero everything. Not sponsored. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, guys. Cheers, cheers to the man. Cheers. They're, they're, they're the part of the family oh, yeah. too. <laughs> Good. And that's some good stuff. Enough talking, let's open this up. All right. Oh yeah. Looks good? Looks good. He's ready. I'm excited. Back from vacation, ready for some American burgers. We're gonna do side-by-side -side comparison tests. So here we have the In-N-Out cheeseburger, right? Yes. And here we have the Five Guys, it's called the Little Cheeseburger. Basically, it's just a regular burger with one patty. If you get a regular cheeseburger, it comes with two patties. We just wanna do single patties. And also here, we have the in and out Extra crispy. Extra crispy fries. Oh yeah, we also did the uh, extra toasted buns. That's a little hack for you guys. If you guys are new to in and out or you guys don't know about the secret, not secret menu, but the secret hacks, you get your fries extra crispy and then your buns extra toasted. Over here, we have the, again, little cheeseburgers, but one of these fries is regular fries and the other one is called Cajun fries. Also little because uh, yeah, calories. Before that, Let's go over the price point because uh, this is a big deal. It is. All right, so for in and out all of this is about $13.62. Damn, $13.62 for all this? Yep. Hoo-wee. And for five guys, all this was $29.19. God damn, <laughs> government, you're killing me. It's basically the same thing, but you get double this for this. Enough about the prices. Let's compare how it looks. All right, guys, so you can see which one's bigger do you think? Five Guys for sure. Five Guys is bigger. This one comes with a toasted bun as you can see. Let's open it up. So I have, le mine has lettuce, tomatoes, cheese, mushrooms. Okay. It looks like, yeah, ketchup, all that good stuff. How about yours? I got the onions. Okay. Um, cheese, patty, the tomato, the lettuce, and their sauce. So Five Guys has their special sauce. I think it's just Thousand Island, but I don't know. Which one do you want to try in and out first? Oh yeah. That's All right, good. let's try In-N-Out first. I love In-N-Out. Cheers, buddy. Cheers. Welcome back. Thank you. In-N-Out cheeseburger. Let's Cheese. do this. Let's do it. Mmm. Mm. Like it? Yeah. Do you like the toasted bun? Mm-hmm. It's good, right? Yeah, I found this hack out like a year or two ago. I was like, wait, you could do that? Totally worth it. I actually didn't know about the toasted bun. Oh, you didn't? Until now. And you like it? I like it. I was today years old <laughs> when I found out about toasted bun. Hey, you learn something new every day. Right. Mmm. <laughs> I love In-N-Out. I don't go as often as I used to, but the one near our house, the lines are always long. No matter what time of the day it is. We were talking about this earlier, but I think it's like prime location. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is what it is. Probably took us about more than 30 minutes mm, to get right. our order. Next, guys, we're going to compare the fries. So I think these are the regular Five Guys fries. And these are the Cajun fries. And for In-N-Out, we have the just the regular fries, extra toasty. 
We didn't want to do the uh, animal style fries because that's on the secret item menu. So wait for that for another video. Are you going to be part of it? Maybe. We'll maybe, see. maybe. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, if you want Christian back, leave a comment below. So what do you think? Oh yeah, by the way guys, last time somebody commented, the fries look cold, you gotta eat it right away. We're in a studio right now, you know what I'm saying? I can't just teleport here. Looks like Five Guys is more bigger and thicker. Bigger and thicker. Don't underestimate the in and out because those are good. Okay, oh, I was gonna say cheers. Never mind. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> These guys hungry. Yeah. All right, cheers. Mmm, extra crispy. Andre, can hear this? I actually found out the extra crispy just recently. Really? Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, the cool thing about In-N-Out is they have a lot of secret item menus. That's why I want to do a separate video for that, because there's a lot of cool hacks, cool tricks. What's not a cool trick is uh, protein style. You know protein style? Mm -hmm. If you're going to have a burger, have a damn burger. Sorry, but protein style just means they get rid of the bun and they wrap it in lettuce. So unless you're doing keto, I don't know. For me, mm. if you're going to have a burger, have the dang burger. Mm. So you can also ask for the spread on the side. I think the spread is also what's in the burger, right? Yes, within the burger. So you can ask for it for on the side. And this is, you said 75, 80 calories? Yes. You just important on top? Yeah. Usually uh, this comes with the uh, animal style fries. Yeah, so animal style fries comes with the spread, cheese, and grilled onions. And for me guys, you know me, I don't mess around. So I have zero sugar added ketchup. Half the calories. Why are you shaking your head? I don't know. <laughs> this is a hack. Obviously, you're not gonna have it when you're at the restaurant, but if you're at home, keep this on the side. 80 calories, worth it. So this is 10 calories, that's 80 calories. But like you said, to him it's worth it. If it fits his calories, his macros, go for it. Let me give it a try. Guys, it's worth it. <laughs> <laughs> this is good, all right. That was in and out, but before we move on, we gotta take another shot. Half time, baby. Half time. Cheers. Cheers. You can't go wrong with vodka, in and out, and five guys. Am I right? So now that we had in and out out of the way and the shot, good. You feeling good? I'm feeling better. Are you ready for five guys? Hell yeah. Let's do five guys. Again, this looks amazing, smells amazing. I had five guys before, it's delicious. However, it's double the price. Is it double the taste? Let's find out. It's double the weight for sure. <laughs> double the weight. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I can feel it's heavy. Yeah, it's definitely heavy. Heavier than the internet one. Yeah. All right, let's do this. Yep. Mm. Yeah, these are definitely two different style burgers. What do you think, Christian? Definitely. Taste is different, more filling mm -hmm. for sure. I feel like once in a blue moon. Right. There's a reason why I haven't gone to Five Guys in a while, and it's not because it's terrible or anything. It's because it's freaking expensive. Mm -hmm. $30, come on. I get it, inflation, but in and out, so. Mm. This is a little hamburger, right? Or the junior one? Well, it's called a little cheeseburger. I don't know if it's smaller. I just know it's a single patty. But if you ask for the regular cheeseburger, I think it's double. But their patties are a little bit thicker than the in and out Yeah, so a little bit thicker, a little bit more weight. Mm -hmm. Again, this one has mushrooms in it. All right, now that we got those burgers out of the way, let's try the fries, the regular and the Cajun fries. Let's do a regular okay, fries. I think it's regular, right? This looks like regular. Right, right. Okay, this is what it looks like, Cajun. Oh, no, regular. Uh, regular, sorry. Our face are in the way, so it's not focused. Anyways, you get the idea. Cheers, man. This guy, this guy's hungry, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> we met for how long, one day? One day. One day, he's hungry. Yeah. So, excuse him. Cheers. Cheers. Tastes like fries. Tastes like fries. Tastes like no, fries. Nothing, nothing special. Nothing special. Nothing special. I'm gonna use some ketchup. Use the spread. From oh. In and out. Hey, yeah. life hack, baby. Yeah. Five Guys fries. In and out spread. Right. Mm. Oh, and I also forgot to mention, there's a lot of fries left in this bag. It's not just this. There's a lot of fries in here, and there's a lot of fries in here. There was just nowhere to put these fries, so I had to put them to the side. But keep in mind, they hook you up with the fries at Five Guys. Next one is the Cajun fries. Look at this. All right, cool. Look like kitchen fries. Cheers. Cheers. Let's do this. Oh, these are a lot better. Guys, if you've never been to Five Guys, get the Cajun fries. Way better. I would highly recommend the Cajun. Yeah, regular fries are just regular fries, nothing special, but fries are fries. You know, you can't go on fries. But if you go to Five Guys, get the Cajun fries. Let me see what it spread. <laughs> All right. Oh, Life hack, baby. Cajun fries, 
with the in and out spread. Mmm. Oh yeah. Mm. That is good. Mmm. Before we wrap this up, let's do one more shot for the road. Not oh, for the road. Yeah. Don't drink or drive. Every under 21, don't drink. Wait till it's illegal. Hey, let me see your ID. Cheers. Cheers. Ooh. So there you guys have it. In and out versus five guys. Now let's find out the verdict for burgers. What do you think? I would still prefer In and Out. In and Out. Okay, and why? I think for the price point, mm. the taste, accessibility. What do you mean by that? Well, it's like everywhere. Technically, it's everywhere in the West Coast. In the West Coast. Especially like, California, Arizona. Outside of that, it's not around. Right. So you guys are ever in the West Coast. If you guys are from like the East Coast, Midwest, you guys are visiting, don't forget to try In and Out. In and Out for sure. Fries. I still prefer the in and out fries, especially mm. with the extra crispiness on right, it. Right, yeah. Plus with the additional spread, I would highly recommend getting yeah. that one. So guys, don't forget, ask for the spread on the side, this thing right here. 78 calories, but you said it's worth it, right? It's worth and it. And it's for the whole packet. It's for the whole packet. So this is a big packet, guys. It's not just like the little sweet and sour sauce you get at McDonald's. This is a big size packet for 80 calories. Not too bad. And for me, I'm gonna have to agree with Christian. Again, price point, how much was it? 13? 13 something. 13 something, and this was 29 something. So you guys see the huge price point. But even if this was delicious and this was not and was cheaper, I would pick the more delicious one because hey, you only live once, YOLO. But however, to Christian's point, cheaper, tastes better. And remember, get the toasted bun. Mm -hmm. Crispy fries. I do love these Cajun fries. I do love these Five Guys burgers. It's just hard to justify, and this is why I haven't been going. I mean, you could be rich, you know, it's still expensive, right? I think once in a while, right? If you're just craving Five Guys every two, three months, I think it's okay. What do you think? It is okay. And plus, like the Five Guys for sure is uh, a little bit heavier in terms of the meal itself. Mm. Uh, oh, and it's more calories too. It's more calories. So if you're watching your weight, don't forget to bring the shreds. <laughs> More calories, more dense, more expensive. All right, Christian, before we close this out, let the audience know how was your trip? Oh, my trip was amazing. So I did a Euro trip, like going to Munich, Prague, Bratislava, Budapest, Malta, Barcelona, and Paris. Wow. Definitely, I was craving for American food while I was there. Yeah. But I was resisting to do it because I don't want to be that, you know, typical American that goes for American food when they're still traveling. But even if you go to these places like, uh, let's say you go to Japan or South Korea or Europe, McDonald's there is different than McDonald's here. So you gotta try it, right? Or no? I don't know. No, <laughs> I resisted. A lot of the people that I knew still went to McDonald's, but no, I wanna try the local food as much as possible. But coming back here, I was really craving for a burger. So yeah. this is the perfect time that you hit me up. Let's say, let's go burgers. And Christian, again, thank you for coming because a lot of subscribers, especially from the Philippines, Hello, new subscribers. They liked you, they liked Ty. Ty's on a date with his wife right now, that's why I couldn't make it, but super thankful for you guys for joining us, subscribing. Christian is back, so prepare for more videos with him soon? Maybe. Maybe, yeah, we'll maybe, see. okay. Yeah. And guys, if you're new to the channel, welcome to Bring the Shreds. We're all about moderation, not deprivation, because life is too boring for brown rice, chicken breast, and broccoli all day. Am I right? You're right. Don't forget to bring the shreds, and I will talk to you soon. Peace. Yeah.